Nexus, Nexus from Edward R. Subbed is Mexico City and WWE in Mexico. Greetings, K100 Click. A while back, I emailed about a potential Mexico City trip, but I got to say you were right, Conan. Mexico City is great, and the Dia de los Muertos festivals are awesome. CDMX is an amazing city, and I have newfound respect for Mexico and their people. Everyone's friendly. Food is incredible. Service is great. The women were bad as hell. There's a ton of money there, especially in Polanco, which is some, which is on some Beverly Hills, Roma, as you mentioned. Which leads me to my question: You all, especially discotech, regularly see Latino wrestlers need to learn English to get over in the U.S. to cut promos and connect with the crowd, which does make sense. But seeing the size of the Latino market, the money down here, why doesn't WWE have their top stars, especially ones that they're building in NXT, learn learn Spanish? Why isn't Ellie Knight or Ricochet doing commercials or cutting promos even on YouTube in Spanish? Cody Rhodes can make a lot of money in the North American nightmare being bilingual. Shouldn't they advise a Carmelo Hayes or Braun Breaker to learn Spanish to anchor tour down there in the future? The impetus, good word for a brother, shouldn't be just on Latino stars that cross over. They know this too, since John Cena went out of his way to learn Mandarin Chinese. What are your thoughts? Thanks again, hombres. And that's from Edward R. That's a good point. Should should learn Spanish. There's a lot of what percentage of the country speaks Spanish, Joe, in the United States? Ooh, uh, let's see. Look that up, Conan. Do you agree with that? Well, uh, let's see what he's about to say. Well, fifty three million, uh, forty one million are native Spanish speakers, and twelve million are bilingual. Interesting. So, so 41 million number one, I, people speak Spanish. Wow, that's a lot. That's like over 10, yeah. it's 15%. Mm-hmm. You know? So remember when I told you I had spoken to Vince like two years ago? Right. McMahon? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I explained to him the things that we could do together in Mexico, especially to help him draw, because he wasn't drawing, because they were doing a lot of mistakes, mostly – not putting Mexicans on the card. And when you did put them, you would beat them. I was like, bro, come on. You guys are the masters of booking and getting people over. That's booking 101. And he told me, I make more money in the United States Hispanic market than I do in Mexico. I didn't say this to him, but in my head I was thinking, all right, but if you can make a million or two million or three million or whatever, that's money you're leaving on the table. You you should expect Mexico too and get that cheese. And, uh, um, bro, he ain't going to send no one to learn Spanish. He has Spanish speakers on the roster. But like I told him in that meeting, nearly one in five Americans are Latino right now. And since the census was first taken by George Washington back in the 1700s, for the first time in history, our population, 16 and under, the majority was not white. We will be a majority minority in 20 years and the biggest minority will be latinos so you can service now or you can service later but you will service so you know and i'm gonna get paid in the future because bro look at music music is always a, a, a ahead of the curb j balvin osuna bad bunny shakira carol g becky g uh, peso pluma bro these people are doing monster f- numbers and they're singing all in Spanish. Right. It's crazy. Next is from also Garrison. Yeah. Something's Flair. This is interesting. Flair versus Andrade. According to Dirt Sheets, when Ric Flair was uh-huh. originally originally in talks about joining AEW a few years ago, the plan was for him to come in and be book, linked with Andrade. Word is that, sometime around early 2022, Andrade and his wife, Charlotte Flair, have either separated or possibly even gotten divorced. I was wondering, do you think that now Ric Flair is in AEW, this may lead to some backstage drama? Tony Khan has been known to ease, be easily influenced. Britt, Britt Baker, Chris Jericho. Could Flair be getting Khan's ear to mess with Andrade's career? Conan, I, didn't, I had no idea that, that Charlotte and Andrade split up. Is that is that accurate? I think they might have been separated for a while because they took each other off of um, their like oh, social and in Twitter. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I have a very, very credible report that on Friday he wrestled for our competition in Tijuana. And she was there with him. Really? Yes. Interesting. Next is from Kevon Gilroy. Some mm. is Saudi heat. Well, but by the way, Flair's not going to mess with mess with. I, I would doubt he's mess going to mess with Andrade. You know, I, I think they get along, right? right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Next from Kiva, Kiva and Gilroy, some of the Saudi heat. I watched Crown Jewel 2023, and it's time for WWE to stop booking the women on those shows. No matter what they do, the crowd's completely dead, and it's not a good look for these women to go out there in, in gear that they don't usually wear working, working before total silence. I get that WWE are trying to make a change, but whatever. Those people over there look down on women, so why waste their time? Uh, well, I know the answer. The money. My question is, do you think that certain talents being booked on those Saudi shows could cause backstage problems? If you're on a Saudi show, you're going to get paid well, yet it seems to be the same names who, who keep getting these giant bonuses while everyone else uh, back in the U.S. working the house shows. Um, I, I don't know if anybody's going to complain about working Saudi if they're getting paid handsomely. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, do you know anything about this, Conan? No, but I would think that you're getting paid, you know, you have a contract, so you're going to get paid what you get paid anyways. I think people like a, a Goldberg or, you know, people like that, that's like a one-time only type thing, maybe those guys get paid extra. I don't right. think, I doubt everybody does, but I don't know. Yeah. Did either of you guys see that uh, Brandon Thurston reported that WWE gets paid well over $50 million per crown jewel, uh, which is equivalent to about three WrestleManias worth? Of ticket yeah. sale revenue, so yeah, it's crazy, right? They they well, who found knows? maybe maybe every maybe everybody that's on the show they give them an extra two hundred thousand or something. You know what I'm saying? Who yeah. knows? Next is a giant for root. Subject is the dumbest wrestler of all time. Brian Danielson himself confirmed that after CM Punk's firing, he returned to AEW without being fully fully medical medically cleared from his arm injury. So not only was he working hurt, he worked another match while he had his orbital broken, which will now require surgery. He's going to be out of the ring until 2024. My question is, is Daniel Bryanson, Dan, Dan, Brian Danielson the dumbest wrestler alive today? In WWE, he got a serious neck injury, which, which required nearly a year off, which he then came back from and got a serious concussion injury, which kept him out another two, three years. He finally got cleared, was doing well in WWE, left for AEW, and now he's beating himself on TV, uh, ratings, and low ticket sales. Uh, to, to he's beating himself on beating himself on TV to tiny TV ratings and low ticket sales. No one gives a Brian Danielson anymore. He, he keeps working the stupid, dangerous style of that, and I hope I'm wrong. He's seen him in a wheelchair by 2027. I understand the whole risk equals a reward thought process, but his risks aren't even reward anymore. Um, mm. I said this when he, he came came back. You know, the guy he still is wrestling a very rugged, rough style, and he's going to get hurt. He keeps getting hurt, and that's his yeah. that's his fault. Because he keeps doing all this stuff, you know. I don't know. He's just like some. He, he's like got that that youth, like that that young reckless youth type of like style to him, you know. Where he just like you know how you talk about these cats that just like you can't, like you can't hold a horse back sometimes. Like he's he's like one of them, you know. Yeah, that's what, what you, angles performances and impact were like that. People would go, "What is he doing with all these neck problems? He's doing cage moon salts," but right. that was just Kurt. That's just the way he is, and that's just the way Brian is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the problem here is that, like, I remember back in the day, you know, Eddie was always, Eddie Guerrero was always up and hurt. And he kept wrestling. A lot of athletes play hurt in football, baseball. They take a cortisone shot and they go out there, you know. Yeah. You can call it dumb, but I call it passionate. I wrestled hurt a lot. I don't think, I really don't think, I don't know about, I, I don't want to speak for him, but I don't think ratings and ticket sales are on his mind as much as entertaining because the problem with him is all he's done is wrestle at a high level and he's probably set the bar so high that he thinks you always have to do it but you don't you know people already know you're great this is the time where you just tone down your style and you live off you know your name like ray toned down his style a lot of people did because he understood you don't need to get crazy get over look at cactus jack he used to go out, they cut his his ear got ripped off somewhere in Germany, I think. Yeah. Fell off that cage and hell in the cell with the tooth through the, the the nose. And then he toned down his style and he was doing a lot of comedy and, and drama, you know, and he got over. So mm -hmm. I think a lot of wrestlers, whether it's Kurt Angle or Brian Dennison, think they have to keep going at that pace. But no, you don't. You know what I'm saying? Just tone down your style and work smarter. Uh, next one's from um, John Kamepa. Would you agree with that, Disco? 100%, yeah. I've, I've always yeah, right. preached that, you know? 